Hi, everybody. It's John Maya from Imagine Communications, here with another installment about our Selenium network processor. We're all about to watch the Beijing games being produced in UHD and HDR, and a lot of that uses Selenium network processors. So we're really happy for that. And I wish that I could see the games that way. But, you know, there's always been a lot of question about whether the resolution of ultra high definition was worth the four times extra bandwidth required to get it to the consumer home. You know, would consumers really perceive it as a great difference? But there's actually no question that consumers perceive high dynamic range as a true improvement in the picture quality in their house. This high dynamic range, it's a big deal. Consumers can see it. Well, in the SNP, we've fully implemented HDR conversion, converting from today's SDR into high dynamic range, converting between the different high dynamic range systems that are used in the market, and of course, converting from HDR back to SDR when you have to distribute to all the legacy distribution channels we have in place today. Now, there's some alphabet soup about HDR. Like any new technology in the television industry, we've got a couple different ways to do it, and each one has its proponents, and they're all existing in the market together. There's the Sony S-Log3 system. It's great for production. It's been in use for many years. It's supported, of course, on the Sony cameras and switchers, and it looks fantastic, frankly. There's the Perceptual Quantization System, PQ. It doesn't always go by that name. It's often called one of its derivative names, like HDR10 or Dolby Vision. Those systems are all derived from the PQ system. Then there's the Hybrid Log Gamma system, built by the BBC and other major broadcasters who really were recognizing the realities of hybrid production. All three systems are in use in the marketplace. All three systems are making great video. And frankly, we have to convert between them all because in the end, when you're producing a single program, you have to convert whatever you have into one consistent format before it hits the switcher. And that's what we do in SNP. We have all the different conversion engines for going between and among all these formats and giving the operations team the knobs they need to adjust it, not just to be technically correct, but also to match the desired look of the production. Now, graphics in HDR, that's another interesting topic because the graphics design needs to account for the HDR range, the overall look, especially when deciding where the white level is for the graphics and what the graphics are gonna look like when they convert down into SDR. Once you have everything lined up, switched, graphic, branded, then the other fun starts getting it back to the consumer. Ultimately, each method for reaching the consumer wants a different HDR treatment. Some delivery systems expect PQ, some delivery systems expect the HLG system as their input. And of course, the traditional delivery systems of today are expecting a standard dynamic range version. So whatever we produce in HDR, we have to keep an eye out for how it's going to look when it's converted back into SDR. When done correctly, the SDR picture can look better because it was produced in HDR in the first place. Now here in North America, we're underway with our ATSC3 system and we're gonna be able to deliver HDR to consumers over the air in 1080p or UHD. All the more reason to learn about HDR and learn about how we handle it inside our Selenium network processor. So to learn more, visit our website or schedule a live demo today.